okay. Okay. You guys don't know this, but I practice, I'm actually a grade 11 piano. I did it for 17 years in Brazil. And I can't believe, it's quite traumatic. In 12 years of YouTube, I've never shown my, I just don't want to brag, so. Thank you, thank you. It's been years since I've played that piece. My name's Josh. My name's Steven. My name's, name's Braden. And we're watching the Beach channel. Charlie Beach Charlie. channel. Watch it. Thanks guys. This is called I'm doing something really important on my phone. Do it! It's about half of Manchester. Go on. I'm doing something really important on my phone. He's doing something important on his phone. I'm doing something really important on my phone. On his phone. I'm doing something really important on my phone. Right, so start from the top. Hi, my name is. Hi, I'm James, and this is Charlie Beach. Yes, you're fucking watching the Charlie I can't Beach channel. I met him in person. I can't believe I met you, James. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, behind me, you've got two police officers. Where's the other one? He's down there. He's on the phone. They're trying to help a confused lady. She is vulnerable and uh, she needs help. And funnily enough, just by chance, behind me now, they're doing free warm clothes. Free warm clothes for the vulnerable. Quite a pure message from the Guranga crew. Just help people. Yeah, a bit wet today. Tram going for a swim. Capitalism is a racist system. Gentlemen. Oh, it's a team of them. Welcome to the Northern Quarter. We're approaching Thomas Street. Shiny, 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 shiny after the rain. The umbrella is only a pointer now. Look at that sky, how things change. But no one told you life was gonna be this Mangled. Okay, it's uh, time for all the Tottenham Hotspur fans to go down to a... Here's, here's, here's some out in the wild. Tottenham fans, welcome to Manchester. Good luck. Welcome back to Central Manchester. This is Charlie Veach on the scene. Behind me, you've got a bunch of Tottenham fans. Whoa. Hey! Can I sit here? Sit, sit. You're not a Tottenham fan. No, no, I'm a City fan. Boo, boo. I'm a City fan. Tottenham. Oh. Hello, intro boy.
Super Soaker, Nerf guns. They've probably not got a license for uh, the bright plastic pretend gun. Oi mate, you got a license for that, that plastic Nerf gun? What do you think guys? Is it uh, an arresting situation? Is it all uh, allegedly stolen? No you won't. No, you won't. Yeah, so what's up tonight? I'll throw shit at him right now. It's not so much dead, what? Everyone's so hard when the police are right there. Everyone acts so big and tough. You're not my type, little boy. You're not my type, little boy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Anyway, have you stolen all the toys? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, classic. Yeah. Just like the guy this morning, he's got a bottle of Head and Shoulders shampoo. Head and Shoulders. If only he'd used his head before deciding to uh, allegedly steal. Head and Shoulders green apple. Very nice flavor. See it. Reassuring click of justice. Okay, that's the toys returning. Going home. Hi everyone, this is Charlie Veach, your roaming reporter out on Market Street. As you can see behind me, the police are taking theft, stealing, stolen credit cards, petty crime a lot more seriously now. It's as if they've realized that if you ignore the small crimes, everything spirals out of control. So as you can see, angry boy behind me he's not happy that he's been caught and uh is he getting a bit getting a bit is he getting a little bit <laughs> he is nice that'll go well in court mate that'll do well in court The, the judge will like those words. The judge will like those threats. Yeah, good. Anyway, um, when he gives you, you've got big words for an arrested man. Anyway, have a great weekend. I'll see you in court. What's with the shampoo? Why is everyone stealing shampoo?
Hello. How are you? I'm very well. Marvellous. You're a very handsome guy, but I'm Thank in the middle of much. filming filming this over here. That was the strangest interaction I've ever had with a, a walker past. I said, you just blocked the shot. <laughs> so I said, you're very handsome, but I'm trying to film the... And he's like, oh. oh. <laughs> Okay guys, you didn't think I was going to miss the money shot of the back of the van closing, that's what you're all waiting for. I recognise this WPC in the front, very friendly lady, hello, how are you? Yeah, very good. Alright, they're doing a very thorough check onto the ruffians' uh, possessions. Uh, lots of nooks and crannies where someone in his position could uh, store something. Obviously, there's been some major incidents in custody suites. Now the police are extremely careful about a thorough search before anyone goes into the custody area. imminently going to get the the shot of the closing of the van doors. Hello, mate. Yeah. Hello. yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I love your video, you know. Thank you very much, them, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inside my house, we can use this guy. I can yeah. see about YouTube this weekend. I see this guy on YouTube every day, but I'm not tired. I never see him in person, mate. Now, appreciate it, mate. Videos, man. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Have a good weekend. See you, man. Apparently, yeah, they are what you're thinking they are. They are, as the, the label um, suggests. And uh, it's important to check your chest regularly. Good morning, again. It's still Saturday. We're outside the Arndale. There's good old Metro Bank. I just want to reenact a story. So I was outside chatting to a couple of friends and uh, a young ruffian, maybe about 20, 21 years old, points at me and says some very very, very insulting words. Now, me being an idiot, I uh, retaliate by saying some bad words in defense. Stupid idea. I'm too old for this. So the young ruffian comes up to me and whacks me over the head with his big bag with all sorts of shit in his bag. So I give chase. The fight ends up in here. He then uses that yellow cone to attack me with the yellow cone. I managed to deflect it. It's not a, not a heavy item. And then I'll, I'll, sw I'll swing the camera around. And then we're running along here. I'm giving him chase because he's, uh, he's assaulted me and I wanted to have a word with him. And we're coming down here at uh, a very high rate of speed. It wasn't as busy as it is now. This was a weekday. This is a Saturday right now, a bit busier now. So we're coming along here. He's taking big steps. And as he approaches 
his launch pad, I see in his brain, he's going, oh shit, I've got a six foot five, 240 pound veach about to maul me like an angry chimp. And this poor guy, and remember he's sprinting like Linford Christie. He takes off from the top step. He flies like Michael Jordan. Just imagine this is in midair and he lands around here. Sorry, young man. He lands over here from over there. And the, and the poor young ruffian broke his ankle jumping all the way to there. Now, a lesson for uh, my viewers, um, a, a lesson in peace is that he was vanquished. He was defeated, broken ankle. It was all swollen. He had to take his socks and shoes off. He could not walk. And I went up to him afterwards and I said, are you okay? And he goes to me, are you taking the piss? I said, no, no, no. I'm genuinely concerned about your ankle. And we shook hands and uh, some of his friends said, no, that's, that's, uh, that's Charlie Veach. Hey, hey, hey. I said, um, I said, that's Charlie Veach. And then he checked out the YouTube channel, subscribed, and I do wish him well. I wish the young ruffian with the broken ankle well. And um, if you're watching, I hope, I hope we're friends now and we're not gonna fight in the street like a couple of apes.